Hi everyone, I hope you all had a great week. I'm just wondering, have you ever had to say goodbye to someone special? Well, yeah. At the end of this academic year, we'll have to say goodbye to our orchestra's conductor, Simon. He will be starting his new journey in Edmonton. He helped me so much in the past few years, and so saying goodbye to him is hard and sad. Yeah, I know. It's hard to say it's hard and sad to say goodbye to someone who's so important to you, but Simon gave us a very good foundation in orchestra work, and we can take that anywhere. Besides, we're always connected by Instagram and Facebook. That's true. Yeah. Today, we'll hear the story about Jesus ascending into heaven. The disciples really had to say goodbye, but he gave his disciples special promises before departing. Here we go! After rising from the dead, Jesus met with his disciples and followers, giving convincing proof that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. Once, when Jesus was eating with them, he gave orders to his disciples. Do not leave Jerusalem until God has sent the Holy Spirit. John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. But they kept asking him, Lord, has time come for you to free Israel and restore our kingdom? Jesus replied, The Father alone has the authority to set those dates and times, and they are not for you to know. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up into a cloud while they were watching, and they could no longer see him. As they strained to see him rising into heaven, two white-robed men suddenly stood among them and said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing here staring into heaven? Jesus has been taken from you into heaven, but someday he will return from heaven in the same way you saw him go. Jesus gave his disciples special promises prior to his departure for heaven. The same promises were given to us too. Yeah, at the time of his departure for heaven to be with God the Father, he promised that he will always be with us and will return someday. And while we wait for his return, we can spread his love to others around us. Yeah, that's right. Jesus wanted his followers to tell others about him. Who can we tell the good news to and how? Good question. For me, I have friends who don't know Jesus. They have a family tradition of faith. I wouldn't tell them that their faith is wrong. I'd simply continue to be their friend and care for them just like Jesus has done for us and show them Jesus' love through my actions. Yeah, I think that's a wonderful way to share Jesus' love with others. In the story we just heard, the disciples watched Jesus go up into heaven. We don't see Jesus from day to day and we may not be connected through social media, but we know that he is still with us and that he loves us. Because of that, we should also love one another and tell others about him while we wait for his return. Let's sing a song, God is so good. and taking our sins away. We know that you have risen from the dead and have returned to heaven. We also know the wonderful promise you have given to us. You will be with us. Please help us share your love with people around us. Please use us to be your instrument. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.